G'day everyone, welcome back to Buildsome with another video to help you increase your construction knowledge. And in today's video, we're going to have a look at our wall plates and how far they can extend or overhang your slab. So before we get started, if you want to throw it in the comments, what do you reckon, how far can your wall plate and your brickwork actually overhang your slab? So how did we go? What did you think? How far are we allowed to overhang our wall plates over the edge of our concrete slabs? Well, the answer might surprise you. It's not a lot. It's 10 millimetres. Now, that's 10 millimetres if you've got a 90 mil wall plate. If your wall plate's anything less than 90 millimetres, then there is no allowance. You cannot overhang the slab at all. Um, so I'm sure people have seen a lot of um, instances where frames overhang, um, so then it's up to the builder to get the slab packed back out so it's fully supporting the, uh, the actual wall plate. For brickwork, it's not much better. Only allowed 15mm overhang on our brickwork. Again, any more than that, then the structural engineer will have to advise how to extend the slab. Now the big problem for us carpenters is when we come to tie down our wall plates, if we've only got 80 mil left on, um, there's not a lot of concrete to support our fasteners. And our standard fasteners nowadays, sort of your anchor screws, they have to have at least, a 12 mil anchor screw, has to have at least 50 mil of concrete left on the slab. So you can't be any closer than 50 mil from the edge of the slab, so it only leaves you with a, a 30 mil strip of your plate to place your anchor screw. And for your uh, explosive power tool nails, that's even worse because they're up around 70, 75 mil. So really, with a if you had a 10 mil overhang on a 90 mil plate, you're not going to be using uh, explosive power tools to start fixing down your frames. So anyway, hope that helps. Uh, with how far you can overhang your frames.